A Christian pastor in Iran is set to be executed today. The Pursuit Blog. Hello, Internet. I'm David, and this is The Pursuit Blog. And today, Pastor uh, Youssef, I know I'm going to mess up his last name, Nadar Khani, is set to be executed in Iran today for no other reason than the fact that he's a Christian. I'm filming this a few days before I upload it, but on October the 5th, Wednesday, hopefully when you're watching this video, this pastor is set to be executed because there's a law on the books in Iran that says that if your parents at the time of your conception are Muslims, then you are not allowed to convert to anything else. And Pastor Yusuf turned to Christ at age 19. Now, in Iran, they think that they're being compassionate because they give the people who are uh, charged with uh, apostasy three days to recant their faith and return back to their uh, Muslim ways. And I, I love what this pastor said. And it's for me, it's incredibly inspiring. This pastor said, and I quote, Repent means to return. What should I return to? To the blasphemy that I had before my faith in Christ? This pastor has a wife and two little boys. And he, with the gun in his face, says, I refuse to give up my faith in Jesus Christ. I refuse to renounce him as my Lord and Savior. And for me, that is incredibly inspiring that this man in a modern age is willing to still die for his faith. And some of you may think that it's absolutely foolish leaving his family behind but Jesus said, if you're not willing to, to leave behind even your family, you're not worthy of me. Jesus said, those of you who try to save your life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Now, Jesus wasn't necessarily talking about martyrdom, but it's the same idea. Pastor Yusuf understands this, and he wants and desires Jesus. And once you really have Jesus, it's so hard to turn away. I do believe some people walk away from their faith in Christ, legitimate faith in Christ, but it, this man just goes to show that he has tasted the love of Jesus and there is nothing to return to for him. I hope that if I was presented with the same question, with a gun to my head, I could stand there and say, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I can believe no other. Back when I was a teenager, I, I had one of those dreams where it was just incredibly realistic. Every, every bit of it, I thought I was there. And in this dream, uh, we somehow were in China and we were in prison and it was me and my parents and my brother and we were all there and they asked us, do you believe in, in Christ? Are you a Christian? And we said yes, and because we said we were Christians, they were going to execute us. And I remember being anxious in this dream as they lined us up against the wall and just gunned us down. And in that dream, I even felt the pain of the bullet. It was so realistic. And all of a sudden, I saw this white light. And I was so overjoyed. I've, I've experienced that peace and that joy. <laughs> that I had in that moment only a handful of times in my life. <laughs> the funny thing is that I woke up at that moment. And I woke up as I was kneeling in bed staring at my window of which the sun was streaming through. I, the white light was, was the window that I was waking up to. Um, and I was somewhat disappointed. But I, you know, the dream was so realistic it, it helped reassure uh, a sense of fear in me that I would somehow renounce my faith if presented with that question. So what is your answer to the question? Do you believe in what you believe in enough to die for it? Are you sure of what you believe in enough that if somebody held a gun to your head, you could adequately and fully say, I believe this and I can believe nothing else. I refuse to give up this belief and whatever it is you believe in. I, I hate putting it in terms of what are you willing to die for because I think the real question is what are you willing to live for? But I think in marking this man's execution, it's something that we need to look in our own lives and examine what is it that we are willing to give our lives for? To give up everything in our life 
for. My hope and prayer is that Pastor Yusuf's execution will be stayed. And I don't know it, like I said, I'm filming this a few days in advance. And I hope that it will be stayed, but if it doesn't, I trust this man will, will face his execution with Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And you may think it's foolish, you may think it's silly, but this man's willing to die for it. Are you convicted enough about something to die for it? My prayers are with his family, and I hope yours will be as well. Make sure you leave a comment down below uh, what it is that you believe enough to die for. If, in fact, you actually believe in something enough to die for it. Leave a comment or a video response. Make sure you check the links out down below. You can interact with me in different ways. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. God bless.